Hey guys, this is B and C Adventure. Brian's over there trying to lock the door. We are on our way to the new Tsukiji market. Fish market has been transferred over to Toyosu. We're gonna go see what it's like in the new fish market. And what we seen yesterday, everything in Toyosu is pretty like modern and new. Building up for the 2020 game. Yeah, it looks too modern. I yeah. like I like the old it's grunge. Yet. Beginning to look like Christmas. It's Christmas Eve, you guys. Brighton went into the family mart. It's getting a bun. How many times are we gonna eat this pizza bun? I'm sure. Oh, what is, what is that one? Is that the same one we got yesterday? What is it? It's like a bow. Okay, can I try? Mm -mm. It's like a like a pork bun. Hello, I want pizza too. Mm. How many times have we eaten this? Let's do a count. It's pizza. I think it's bomb. Yes. Oh, you got the pizza one. Mmm, mm, it's good. Hey. Oh, you don't... Hey! You shortchanged me. <laughs> you know, this is uh, HD, right? Man, all your wrinkles are gonna show. Meaty! Meaty! They're gonna give you one of these passes and then you get to go in. This is the roof garden in the on the fifth floor. So this is the market for the visitors. And then the wholesale marketplace is downstairs where we get to observe. The fish market now has more of a department store feel. I think they're just barely starting up. Hey, what's that? Mm. These are cute. What's it for? I don't know. There's this man sharpening knife. Should I get a knife here, honey? You still can buy like ingredients, and there are some good useful ingredients like fresh wasabi over there. Oh, this is like pickled stuff. You want to try some strawberry? A little bit more expensive here, huh? Uh, but they look they look a little different. Like some of them, like like they're smaller, and some look bigger. Ten dollars. Remember. Don't look at the price, look at the quality. Look at the price, please. At least he still has those going around. Okay, so this is where all the restaurants are, and you know what? At least you know what the restaurants are called now, because before... Look, I think it's like right here. Honey? No. Oh, that looks like sushi. That's sushi day. <laughs> yeah, that's sushi day. It's a cute or it? Hey, what's he here? The lunch. The one? Ah. Oh, a little pricey. Okay, so what did you think about the new Toyosu market? It's new, it's different, but I think I prefer the Tokiji market because it has some bustle of it, it makes it all fun. You do have like standing sushi, you can grab a quick bite real fast. Sushi Dai is still popping. For uh, Sushi Dai lovers, better spot. It's indoor. Yeah, it, it, it's better. It's better. Oh, yeah, yeah, because when we waited in line for Sushi Dai outside, woo! Oh. That was chilly. So, if you're a Sushi Dai lover, yes, this is the better spot. If you're in a food court setting, but one thing is though, they open at 5. I think Shushi Dai now opens at 6. We are on our way back to Omakase. Mountain Sushi is looking in the basement. Okay, so when we are at Sushi Mountain, we got here too early because there was nobody in line. Yeah, but we were first in line. No, it was very helpful because he had no reservations for us. Mm -hmm. So he opened on about 11 to 12, one hour. 
and um, it's 6,000 yen, which is about $60 per person. Uh, for 14 pieces, okay? I thought we were gonna get more than that because that's what the reviews say on Yelp. No, no, at lunch time. I guess it's a holiday, so they're gonna charge you 60, and you're still gonna get lunch pieces. But if you eat at night, you're still gonna charge you 60 dollars, and you get 24 pieces. Okay, we'll see how it turns out. So we just bought some random sandwich. It's an Evie sandwich with some egg salad. Let's try this out. You like it? We've been reading reviews where a lot of people have a mind-blowing experience with this place. It's pretty affordable, so I think it would be a good place, huh? This is, gonna, this is our second time. She should die with our first. But this feels better because we're not waiting in line at 2 a.m. So. Yeah. No one's waiting. We look like crazy folks.
truly highly recommend the omakase is out of this world especially if you're on a budget and you can't or like like someone like Jiro you know like us when you compare sushi dai and sushi wanton it's a totally different experience because sushi dai catering for the average joe schmo but for sushi wanton when you go a higher step up pay the extra dirty dollars look at him look at me <laughs> There's more thoughtful process to it. The flavors are more complex. Like this was bomb. this was good as sushi, honey, right? It was like the best thing I've ever eaten thus far on this trip. Yeah, I'm full. I was getting full. You're not getting full? Okay, Brian's not full, and he wishes he can eat all you can eat. But then the thing is, this was bomb, and everything was so creamy and delicious and tender. And oh my god. Honey, I still can't stop raving about this place. It was so good. Anyway, I feel like I care about this more. Well, Brian doesn't have much to say as if it's good. <laughs> you got it? Okay, now we're gonna go to some 